Last year, I recorded the video, why I bought a 2012 Mac Mini in 2016. Well, now I'm back to say why I'm still using a 2012 Mac Mini in 2017. So with the recent uproar about the new MacBook Pros in late 2016 and even now into 2017, I figured it'd be a great time to revisit the 2012 Mac Mini that I purchased last year in 2016. Now I was excited just like anybody else about the new MacBook Pros and what they were going to offer. I had a 2012 quad core i7 MacBook Pro that I love to use on the road. And as a matter of fact, it was my daily driver on my desktop as well as on the road. However, Apple decided to make some upgrades and let's face it, just because something's a new idea doesn't make it a good idea. I screwed your brains out. Now the model Mac Mini I have is a 2012 quad core i7 2.3 gigahertz with 16 gigs of RAM and SSD as well as a one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. One of the great things about my Mac Mini is something the new MacBook Pros do not have, and that is ports. It has plenty of USB ports, has a mini display port, also has an HDMI port, and as well as an SD card slot. Another thing I love about the Mac Mini is the fact that I can hook up two 27-inch monitors through the mini display port and also through the HDMI port, and I have these two monitors hooked up. It's really useful and something I don't need to have a ton of dongles to connect two displays to this particular Mac. Another thing I really love about the 2012 Mac Mini is upgradability. Something Apple is really getting away from as they move along in their supposed, once again, upgrades. I can upgrade the SSD to a larger SSD. I can upgrade the hard drive to another hard drive. I can put two SSDs, two hard drives, do whatever I want to make that Mac Mini work the way I want it to. Once again, Apple has gone in the direction of what they consider to be upgrades, but are really, in reality, downgrades. Now, I'm not saying these new MacBook Pros are not incredibly popular, and if people do not have a MacBook Pro, it may still be a solution for you. However, for true pro users, power users, video editors, photo editors, people that use SD cards, I don't think it's the right choice. Now with the specs I showed you, this Mac Mini holds up incredibly well five years later according to these benchmarks, especially in the multi-core score, this Mac Mini is still crushing out the content I put out here on the YouTube channel. Now one of the things I think is really crazy is the fact that the older MacBook Pros and older Macs in general are not only holding their value, they're actually going up in price. While the new MacBook Pros have one day price cut, have temporary price price cuts, which are becoming more permanent because I really feel like this laptop was incredibly and really obnoxiously overpriced to start with. So they're trying to get it back in line with what the price maybe should be. And of course, Apple will never admit they're wrong. Apple's, Apple's never wrong, right? They're, they're never wrong. They're never wrong. They're never wrong. So in my opinion, the way Apple is going and the way this Mac Mini is running for me right now, uh, I may be making a video saying why I still use a 2012 Mac Mini in 2018. So in conclusion, I think the one positive is the older Macs are still incredible machines. It's really sad that Apple's actually downgrading their machines in a lot of ways, but that means the value of your older MacBook Pro, your older iMac, your older Mac Mini off screen here, you should feel proud of the fact that you actually actually own a machine that's holding up over the test of time, sometimes better, even better than the new machines are. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your experience is, your opinion of the new MacBook Pros, the older Macs, what you think is better. Make sure to subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Click that little bell to get notifications when new videos like this go live. And please follow me at stevierichardsfitness.com for all the fitness content there. Thank you guys and see you in the next video. Are you kidding me? This is Capital Combat. My God.